Yo, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to create a bucket slash spigot server. I say slash because bucket and spigot are basically the same thing, except spigot runs faster. So if you wanted to learn how to create a bucket server, then you came to the right place. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is come to the link in the description and click spigot download. Should take you to this website here. You're going to want to click last successful build and then click spigot.jar. This is going to download what you need to start your server. Alright, so it should be downloading, but in the meantime, we're going to go to our desktop, right click, click new, and then click folder. So I'm going to call this my Minecraft server. You can name it uh, server, MC server, whatever you want. This is your server folder. And then you want to drag that spigot.jar that we just downloaded in and put that in there. Alright, so now we've got that. You don't want to double click on this at all at any times. That's not how you start your server. But to start it, we're going to have to create a new text document. So right click, click new, then click text document. Alright, so right click on this and click edit. And now paste in the code that I have in the description. It should say BAT codes, Java codes, but you're going to need to copy that and paste in the code that I have there. If the first code doesn't work when we start our servers, then you want to go back to edit it and try another code. But the first one should work pretty good. Then click save as after pasting the code in and call this run.bat. At the beginning of this, you can have whatever you want. But make sure at the end you have .bat. That's you really need that. Then save as type. You want to click on that and then click all files. Now click save. And close out of this. And you can delete this new text document here. You can keep it. It won't hurt you. But I'm going to delete it to save space. Now the other thing you need, you really need, is Java. Java is something that you can download. You can click the link in the description and download Java if you don't have it already but you need that to run a Minecraft server so download that install Java if you don't have it already okay now we're gonna continue so this is how you start your Minecraft server you have to double click on this batch file and it will start up your server so if you see this it's good you're golden just wait 10 seconds and your server will start Alright, so it should generate all the files. If you see anything that says failed, that's perfectly fine. It's normal. Because it's just generating the files that it doesn't have yet. Alright, so now that's done. Whenever you want to stop a server, you want to type stop. Then hit enter. Wait for that to finish. Then when it says press any key to continue, you can close out of it but you don't want to close out of it without typing stop okay so now open up the ops text document file and type in your minecraft username this will make you have full control of your server click save exit that out alright now we're gonna go into the port forwarding process this is this is kinda tricky depending on what router you have it's gonna make a difference the first thing we want to do is find out our default gateway. So you can go to your folders or your files, accessories, or if you have Windows, click the Windows key and R at the same time. This will bring up the run command. For Mac, I'm not sure how it is, but you guys should know or be able to Google how to open up the run command. It's usually in the files or accessories, but once you have the run open, you want to type CMD. Hit OK. Now open up this black command box. Type IP config. Then hit enter. Alright, so we're going to see a bunch of numbers here. We want to go to our internet. And we want to type the default gateway in our browser address bar. So those numbers that you see next to the default gateway, type that in up in your browser address bar and hit enter.
Now it's going to ask you for a username and password. You guys should know this, but if you don't, you can either Google it or in the description. I have a usernames and password link that you can search your router and it will give you that. But for most people, the username is admin and the password is password. For me, it's I leave both things blank and I just click login. Alright, so your router page will most likely look different, but you just want to find anything that says wireless or port forwarding. Port forwarding is what we're going to do, so look for that. If you don't see port forwarding, you want to look for wireless or applications and gaming. That's mine. Alright, so type in for start port. You either create a new port, whatever it says on your router page, and you type for the start port, 25565. Then for the end port, it's the same thing, 25565. If it asks you for a port name, you can type in Minecraft or whatever, but mine doesn't. Then for protocol, it's TCP slash UDP or both. And then you hit enable. Once you're done, click save. Most routers don't require you to restart your router but some people might have to restart their router and if you had trouble port forwarding then there's a guide for your specific router in the description you click that link search your router and that guide will probably help you out pretty good if this didn't for your friends to connect to your server go to your internet browser go to ipchicken.com that's in the description and these numbers for the IP address that it says here this is what you give your friends this is how they connect, they type in those numbers there. And if that doesn't work, then they can try typing the same numbers and adding colon 25565. So it's just colon and then the port added to the end of those numbers. So either of those should work. If you're having any other issues, try disabling your firewall and that should help too. All right. Peace out guys, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more plugin tutorials. See ya.